watching a movie I'm making dinner and I thought I would just start the vlog because I'm gonna do a little um, hair treatment this is the Brazilian keratin 30 day um, smoothing treatment and I used this a couple of years ago and I think you're supposed to use the whole thing in one go but I just managed to use just a little bit over half of it so i have a little bit less than half left it's just an exclusive blend of antioxidant rich coconut oil along with keratin proteins to strengthen and soften the hair um the avocado oil and the cocoa butter in here smooths the cuticle of the hair straight um adding brilliant glow and luminescent shine and it's from this brand over here you can get it at Diskem or Clicks, I believe. So I'm just busy making dinner, but I thought I would um, like get started on this. It takes quite a while because I don't have the box anymore, but I remember this treatment. And this is one of the things that I think kick-started my hair growth journey because my hair wasn't frizzy so I didn't knot that easily and it didn't break that easily so my like hair cuticles were very healthy and I remember it's from this treatment now that I haven't done it for like a couple of years now um, I can feel like my hair is getting a little bit frizzy again and um, yeah I have like curly wavy hair so I actually should get to starting this so what you do is you literally just put in um a little bit of the product on your wet hair i'm gonna pop you on a tripod i just um heard the air fryer go off so i'm gonna do one section and then um we can go eat and then i'll finish the rest but yeah i just thought i would start this vlog because um, we were actually really busy today um, around the apartment. I washed all of the blankets and bedding and pillows and um, yeah, just did a little bit of work on my computer and then the day was basically over. So I wanted to do this earlier today but um, even though it's night time I'm sure you guys will not mind um sorry the lighting isn't the best um but i just apply a little bit of this majority like mid to ends i have some frizziness like starting at the root but apparently you're not supposed to apply this to your scalp because it will it's like a chemical so i don't want to like, aggravate my scalp and then you take a hair dryer, you blow dry it, and then afterwards you have to go over it with a straightener. So I'm going to do these two sections first, and um, then we're going to have dinner. <music> This darkness go away. Okay, I've popped on my um, gown. I did the bottom section. I just opened um, a window because you have to do this treatment in like a well ventilated area because the heat activates the like Brazilian protein keratin, the actual product and um, it makes like a little bit of smoke so while I have dinner oh my lips are so dry while I have dinner um that can kind of like ease ease out and um then I'm gonna do the top section so for dinner I just made a very very simple meal just whipped up some 
chicken like crumb chicken burger patty thingies and then I just have some broccoli and cauliflower I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day and this is what dinner is looking like tonight very simple to be honest I was a little bit lazy so hopefully this tastes good my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh my goodness, look at how red I am from this hair dryer. I just get so red. <laughs> But um, I finished blow drying my hair. I have the fan pointing outside so that it can like direct all of these fumes out because I nearly choked. But if you are going to get this treatment, um, obviously you'll get the directions on the box. I actually couldn't remember what they were so I just googled them quickly and it says that um, you should apply to damp hair and wait 30 minutes before you blow dry that I didn't do um, but I'm sure it won't do that much because I didn't apply like the whole bottle to my head um, so now I have my flat iron and you are supposed to just go over it I'm using the GHD Platinum one thing I will say about this little Brazilian keratin treatment, because of the um, coconut and the avocado oil and the um, cocoa butter, I think it's cocoa butter, yes, cocoa butter, it smells amazing. So even though the fumes were a bit much, it still smelled really nice and you will literally smell like a coconut bomb. Um, which I love. I just hate treatments. Sorry, I'm going out of focus. Um, I just hate treatments that smell really bad. But this one doesn't. So I'm just going to straighten the rest of my hair. I'm so red. <laughs> I look like a little tomato. <laughs> Take this weight off my shoulders. Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold Just putting a little bit of this on My lips are so dry This is the Clarence Instant Light The Comfort Oil in the shade Honey I've spoken about it before And oh my goodness I'm still so red I haven't blow dried my hair in like the longest time I always get so red but I think I want to give myself a little trim I have a full video on um, how I cut my hair actually so I think I'm just gonna speed you through this one um, I only cut my hair when my hair is straight like this and that doesn't happen a lot so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a trim it is now like about to my belly button I think but I'm not gonna cut off much because I don't know I feel my ends are pretty healthy but yeah let me do this quickly oh, I will open up. Of my skincare, brushed my teeth, um, all of that, and now I am going to edit a little bit in bed. Brain is still working, it's really early, I think it's like eight o'clock. Let's see, it's 7 50, <laughs> it's quite early, um, but yeah, it's 
I think it's almost winter. I think it is winter. When is winter in South Africa? I think it's June. June, July, August. Yes. I don't know. Um, I think with global warming, things are pretty messed up. But um, it feels like winter. It literally starts getting dark just past five. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna edit a little bit um, I just took my um, my sleeping tablets I have been struggling to sleep again um, if you guys didn't know I was actually um, like addicted to sleeping medication for five months after my mom passed away addicted sounds so bad but I couldn't sleep without it um, I basically had to had to take it otherwise I would get like really bad nightmares and wouldn't sleep at all anyway it it started again and um, I I kind of need to be productive during the day so I can't be sleepy you know the whole day if I didn't sleep the night before um, so hopefully it'll get better um but you're yeah, on the the brazilian keratin that i just did um your hair is gonna feel really like yucky and sticky you see it's like almost like stockies <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but um it doesn't feel very soft and smooth um let me just unlock my laptop Hey. Come sell it to the leafies. <laughs> we got our new winter sheets on. It's so well it's not new. <laughs> it's our winter sheets. We put it on today. Um it's a little bit warmer than the what is it, hundred percent cotton? I've got no it's like idea. hotel bedding. <laughs> <laughs> it's know. hotel bedding, but it's, it's kind of this? cold. You can use it. I need to give me a kiss. Mwah. I love you. Love you so yeah, one other thing that I wanted to mention on this little keratin treatment. I don't know how to say it. Um, because we washed our main pillows today. We haven't washed them in such a long time and because it's winter everything is just taking so much longer to dry times like this where i wish i had like a washer and a dryer just to wash and dry straight away and pack everything away that's a, a definite must for me when we move um is to get like a washer and dryer i think that'll be literally heaven um but i wanted to mention something on this treatment you can't wet your hair or tie your hair up for at least i think they said 48 hours and you also can't like put your hair behind your ears i don't know i think they said it's um i remember um from the last time that i did it it's gonna create like kinks in the hair um but yeah i just hate that my hair doesn't feel clean it feels like there's still treatment in it um but yeah if you if you decide to do the treatment just follow the instructions i honestly can't remember um and the um directions or instructions i always mix up the two but whatever um is a little bit vague or broad on the internet um but i'm pretty sure the box has a very detailed um description of what you should use how much and all of that um so yeah i'm gonna edit now and um i'm gonna continue this vlog into tomorrow as well we are gonna do my nails um it's a little bit overdue the color that i have on is really pretty it's like a um almost like a milky pink but with a little bit of a purpley tint to it um it is from popsicle professional nails and um it's a little bit grown out but it's still it's still looking so good um but i'm feeling like a, a nude for um my next set 
so we are gonna do that and then um i'll catch up with you first thing in the morning Mwah. good morning everyone um so this is my nail stuff it's a little bit unorganized i guess um I, I need to go through this again <clears throat> sorry it's first thing in the morning i still have morning voice um but i have everything that i need in here what do you want <laughs> um i'm gonna do my nails i wanted to show you my hand cream obsession look at all of my hand creams whenever i'm at a shop i just love buying hand creams so when i organized my beauty room i kind of collected them all and put them in here um but i go through them so quickly because i apply hand cream all the time but as i said i have everything i need for my nails in here this is just an extra little baggy um i have this from popsicle professional nails to remove my current polish so i'm going to show you all of that my mom made this for me um i think i remember showing this to you guys um so it's very sentimental to me so it's just, i just keep it in there it's kind of like a roll to put your hand on and um i don't know to paint your nails like that but i'm not going to use it today um I'm gonna go sit on the couch and do my nails. I'm sitting on the couch. I absolutely love just chilling on the couch under a little blankie, watching either Netflix or YouTube. So I'm gonna catch up on some vlogs while I remove um, the gel that I have on my nails right now. So I showed you guys um, in some of the previous clips what my nails are looking like right now they are pretty grown out but i feel like the gel held up pretty well um this is from popsicle professional nails it's called misty lavender this is the one i currently have on my nails and um all of the products that i'm going to use are from this brand i will link it down below along with um, a discount code that i have with them um but for removal i'm going to use the smart remover gel and what you need to do is file off the shiny bit of the nail so that the remover can actually penetrate and dissolve the gel so i'm gonna do that now and um catch up on some youtube oh and the darkness starts to fade feels like things are gonna go my way i'm gonna let the sun shine in the day okay and then after a couple of minutes um it'll start doing this i did a couple of layers of the gel i think i did like maybe three okay so i went in with this smart gel remover um about three times this is the this is the third time and it's about removed i apply um quite a few coats of the um soak off base gel so that i don't have to um you know file my actual nail when i do this um so yeah the last bit i kind of just file off um i get pretty impatient when it comes to the last little bit so i'm just gonna file every bit of color off i went ahead and quickly washed my hands and i also pushed back my cuticles but my nails aren't really the same length i feel like this one is a little bit um shorter but before i go ahead and file them first i want to spray some alcohol on them because i don't want any oil 
to be on my nails if you have really oily nail beds or any um sort of oil on your nails the gel or whatever won't stick to it and it'll lift very easily but my nails are um quite thin it's not something to do with wearing gel all the time i took a break from doing my nails a couple of years ago i think i took a break for nine months and my nails were still very brittle so my nails are literally look you can bend them like that and I think it's just something to do, you know, with my body. And I know my mom also had really brittle nails like this. Um, so what I do to just strengthen them a little bit, I either do a lot of gel. So like maybe four or five coats, like very thin coats to make it very strong. Um, but I don't really have time today to do all of that. So when I don't really have time, I just use the popsicle... Um, powder and they have a little um activator with this but oh i'm too lazy to go get it so i'm just going to use some nail glue it's not going to make the biggest difference i mean you stick on artificial nails with nail glue and it's pretty much the same thing if i have to be honest um but after spraying the alcohol i just want to create a little bit of a rough surface to my nail if that makes sense because I want the powder and like the gel and stuff to hold on to my nail so this is not going to do any damage to your nail um, but if you found that your gel lifted or your manicures aren't lasting as long as you would want it to I honestly recommend doing this because it's gonna just create something for the product to grab onto um so yeah i always do this even if you are just doing stick on nails those ones that you get at this game um you always want to just create a little bit of a textured surface for the artificial nail to grab onto and then once i've done that um, I'm just going to wipe away the dust and I'm going to refrain from touching my nail beds um, and then, oh, it just touched my nail bed. Um, this is just the clear, but you get a couple of different shades um, from Popsicle Nails. I'm going to do a coat of the nail glue do not let this touch your cuticles I basically just want to strengthen from mid to end so I don't really go back into the cuticle and then I just dip it in tap like that dip it again tap and then I'll let it sit and dry and then I'll do the next nail. Okay, I did both of my hands with the nail glue and the powder and I got some questions from you asking how I get mine to be so even and not have like bumps and roughness and my trick is to just file it in between and just let the file do the job I don't apply a lot of pressure I just allow the file to catch onto any like bumps and rough edges and then I'll smooth out the edges a little bit but I'm not going to shape too too much. I'll shape it as soon as I applied the um, base coat. I accidentally ordered two base coats instead of a base coat and a top coat. So if you want some recommendations from me, I would recommend a base coat. You need the base coat. It just oh, it just does the world a difference with the actual appearance of the way the gel looks and it allow it's a lot thicker than the gel so if you find that your gel doesn't look very smooth on top of the powder try the base coat it really does smooth out the nail before you apply the gel uh, my battery died i had to quickly run and get a new one and i in the process of that just filed my nails and prepped them washed my hands and now i'm ready to do the 
base coat um so yeah i got cut off obviously because my battery died but the base coat and the top coat is really important i don't have a top coat so um yeah i should actually just order one but if you want some color recommendations from me i really loved the misty lavender it's the one i had on before but i feel like the colors in the bottle look slightly different then they come out on the nail they look really pigmented in the bottle but it looks so much nicer on the nail so my other two favorite colors are dolce vita and french lace the one is a little bit more pinky and the other one is a little bit more true nude i love um dolce vita the previous one i did was um french lace so i think i'm going to do dolce vita and just do a very thin layer of that but first i'm just gonna spray my fingernails with some alcohol again this is just to remove any like oils and prevents like lifting so i'm gonna pop you back onto this little bad boy before i play my little youtube video i am gonna spray my fingers with some alcohol as i said and i'm not going to use the cotton wool to wipe it because i don't want any little hair cotton or fiber to sit on it so i'm just going to let it air dry and um continue my youtube video and then i'll apply the base coat done with the base coat I did about two layers of this and it's very thick and shiny but before I apply the color I just want to make sure there's no bumps because sometimes this can oh my goodness I forgot to pause my YouTube video um, I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have any bumps and also again to create a little bit of a rough surface and I also just shaped my nails sometimes with the, the base coat because it's clear you can't really see where you place it so I just like to smooth out around my cuticles especially because I don't want the color to go sit in like different crevices so I don't go crazy with this but I basically just want to make sure that it's nice and even and I'm not using the like the very rough side of the nail file I know this nail file <laughs> looks so like used but um it's the best one that i have um so yeah i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna go wash my hands and then we can come back and do the color okay i'm back and um sorry i didn't mention this little light so you do need a uv light to cure um like gel and base and the base coat um you can almost get these like anywhere i saw them on take a lot you can get them at china mall that's why i got this one um but if you just search um mini uv light i like the mini ones because i can just like pop it into a little bag and just keep it nice and organized and it's so travel friendly um but yeah i'm gonna let's do this hand first i'm gonna let that dry again not gonna explain that process all over um, and the color that I'm going to use is um, Dolce Vita. I'm going to do a very, very thin coat at first. You want to be very, very careful at the cuticles. Oh, it's just such a pretty color. I think I'm going to do um, two coats of this. And um, yeah, that'll be my nails for this time around. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. So I 
went ahead and started with this hand but I forgot to spray the alcohol and I thought I would show you what it does I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera but look at the tip of my thumb focus it kind of separates do you see that so I thought I would show you that before I wiped it off okay so my nails are done and I got myself dressed did my hair and makeup and um, that Brazilian keratin treatment um, really soaked into my hair my hair isn't feeling as dirty as it was um, when I did it it's actually not the next day it's the day after um, I just did some editing yesterday and some emails and stuff so I didn't film yesterday so tonight has I think tonight will be 40 eight hours so if i want to i can wash my hair tonight but i think i'm going to leave it for like another day or so because i applied quite a bit of heat to my hair and i really don't like applying heat to my hair but um yeah my nails are done and i am really really happy with the way they came out it's just a beautiful um almost like a feminine fresh clean simple manageable manicure i think those are my favorite um but i'm gonna end off this vlog here and actually start a brand new one and um, i think what i'm gonna do now is um just put the pillow covers back on the decorative pillows on the bed as i told you i wash them they are finally dry so i'm gonna do that right now oh, the darkness starts to fade feels like things are gonna go my way that is about it i have to share with you in this vlog um but i'm gonna start a brand new vlog just now so i really hope that you return back for more subscribe if you haven't yet like this video if you enjoyed it and um, i'll chat to you guys in the comments and until next time bye ladies.